Thanks for joining us again at Duckman Cycles in VW Garage. I'm the Duckman. <laughs> We're here today, we're going to discuss Volkswagen engines and the four best methods that I'm aware of to get them up on an engine stand. And if you haven't done this before yourself, there's a Volkswagen engine and there's a stand that it needs to go on to. And once you've got that yoke attached, you need to lift this heavy engine up into that stand. And it has to go up oh, almost two feet, two, two whole feet from the ground. There's four different ways to do this. We're going to cover them in this video. If you've never done this before, this is probably a good thing for you to watch. If you have done this before, I don't know, maybe I'll teach you something new or maybe you've got a better idea that you can share with us down below in the comments and I'd love to hear from you really I would so please post a comment if you got some input you've got a better way to do this yourself so thanks so much you guys I do appreciate you watching as always please give me a thumb up if you like this video please click the little subscribe button down below and pluck that little dingle belly down there so you get updates every time we put up a new video I've also got a brand new Facebook page which you can find by searching for Duckman Cycles over on Facebook once you get over there join the group there's gonna be a discussion on both this perhaps this that the CR 500 or anything else that anybody else has posted so I'm inviting you to come join the discussion. We'll see you over there. Thanks for watching. Welcome back. The first method that comes to mind, and probably you as well, when lifting up an engine to put it into an engine stand, particularly a Volkswagen engine, you know, it's not a, a, a Chevy 350, you know, it's not going to be a big heavy engine. It's still heavy, but it's not that heavy. Just to get a buddy. Do the buddy method. So you get your buddy on the phone and get him over here to go ahead and get you started with lifting up this engine to put it in the stand. The reason why I don't usually employ this method is because I don't have friends that are reliable enough. <laughs> You call them and you try to get them over here and you might have to wait an hour or two to get started on the job and I do most of my work alone. The buddy method is good, it'll certainly save your back if you don't mind waiting, but because people tend to be unreliable, I don't always call them. So call the biggest idiot you know that has the biggest muscles and get them over here to come help you to lift up that engine. So I've got a buddy in mind that we're going to get him over here and uh, hopefully we don't have to wait too long. Typically he's always late, you know, he's always busy doing something with porn. I mean, I don't know what. I fixed his computer a bunch of times before. You may have seen him in some of my other videos. We're waiting for him to come here. This is a Volkswagen Beetle Type 1 engine, and this is the left side. So in other words, this is the driver's side. Flywheel is around the other side, and this is where your mounting yoke is going to go. And this here is a mounting yoke, as well as the bolt, the nut, and the spacer that you're going to need to get this yoke properly attached to the back side of the Volkswagen engine. And once again, this is the left side. Now we're standing on the opposite side of the engine, so we did flip-flop. This is the left side, this is the side you're going to want to bolt to. Now before you do anything with putting your engine up on a stand, you want to make sure that you got the yoke attached to the engine. Not put the yoke in the stand and then attach the engine to the yoke because it's really difficult to get the bolts and studs to align here and you also have have to have a couple of your dipshit friends pick up this engine and hold it in place while you're you know struggling to get the bolts in that's stupid <laughs> put the yoke on first to attach it it's real simple watch this Okay, now remember, we want to attach to the left side of the engine. This is the left side, not what you're thinking of because we're standing on the other side. <laughs> on the wings of the yoke, there's two holes, one here and one on the other side. So we're going to take one of the holes and put it right over the stud that's on the engine down here at the bottom. And we're going to take this bolt and we're going to shove it through this hole and thread it right into the case. Then you take your spacer, spacer goes over the bottom stud, and then you take your nut, put your nut on next. Now you don't have to have that spacer. Spacer is purely optional, but it makes it a whole lot easier because you only have to turn that nut a couple turns to get it tight. Without the spacer, you got to turn it like 30 or 40 times. So you're sitting here with a ratchet just spinning, 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 spinning. Put a spacer on it or a big stack of washers, anything to uh, space it out. All right, that's attached tight, um, finger tight anyway. We're going to put a wrench on it real quick. Typically these are 17 millimeters. Just snug them up real quick and that gets you started. You don't necessarily have to be to a certain torque specification. They just need to be snugged up so that way the engine doesn't try to come loose and fall off the stand. Now that's got the yoke attached to that engine. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? So are you ready to do this or not? It's getting awfully hot in this garage. I don't know. I was busy using my computer. I found a new website and I was having some fun. Yeah, get down there. Grab that engine. All right. All right, put your hands on the engine just like this. All right, I can do that. You got it? I'll grab it right here. All right, there you go. All right, lift.
And that's all there is to getting it up on the stand with a friend. It's just a matter of getting the idiot to do what he was supposed to do and showing up on time that you can get the work done. And for me, that's an extremely frustrating thing. I don't like waiting for anybody, so I've got a better method. Now, if you have some type of gantry crane or cherry picker, you can also lift the engine that way. And what I do is I loop a rope around the underside of the front of the case, and I loop it around the top tang on the yoke and tie it all together as a bundle. Once you've got your bundle all tied together, you push your engine right over to your lift, and put your hook through all of the ropes, and you start to lift up. get it up off the ground. Now you want to be careful that your, in this case, oil cooler doesn't catch the hook. You also want to keep your feet, toes, and whatever else clear from being underneath it. Well, I've never had a rope snap because I use some pretty damn strong rope. But you could also use a chain. But I don't like using the chain because sometimes it will uh, gouge the case. I don't like the engine case getting gouged. It's cosmetic. You'll probably never see it once it's on the car. Well, I don't like letting it get that way. All right. Spin your engine around. Push your stand right into it. And then let the lift put it down. Unhook your rope. And your engine is now on stand. Not much to it. Simple enough task. Probably the preferred method for those who are operating a shop and working alone. It's one of the least difficult ways to do it with the least effort. It takes a little more time to get set up, but it's probably the safest method. Now for Duckman's method number one, you're going to require an awful lot of nuts for this one. But you want to get the engine as close as you can to the stand, and you want to back that stand up against a wall or something else. It's not going to allow the stand to move away from you, because if it gets away from you, you're going to have a very, very bad, frustrating, uh, <laughs> and just don't do that. And I like to have an old rug or a piece of carpet, because the engine has a lot of sharp edges on it, and you don't want to get caught on them. So what I do is I wrap this engine. Lift it right up and put it right in there. One engine on a stand. Now I've found that I can lift these engines with all the tins and the generator and everything, carburetors, exhaust, all still attached. It is tremendously heavier, but the downside is, and I always do this every time I've tried, I mess up the tins, I get them all bent. Because when you start grabbing, those things are not meant to be structural. And you start flexing everything and, and the fan shroud bends and the fan starts eating the inside of it the next time you put it back together. So I don't like picking it up with the tins on it, but yes I can, but I don't recommend it to anybody. So even if you're a bigger guy than I am and you can pick one of these up with your pinky, don't don't do it with the tins on it. You're probably going to have a problem because, like I said, they're just not structural and not meant to hold that kind of weight. So don't do it. Now, method B is really simple. You have to have both a lot of guts and a lot of nuts. <laughs> so we've got the stand right here. We've got the engine with the yoke attached down below. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the engine stand right on the yoke just like that. Now this might look kind of wrong or kind of crazy to you, but this is actually correct. Now, you want to get a pair of pliers or whatever it takes to remove these clips from the wheel. There's a washer also in my case. Pull the wheel off. We'll get back to this in just a second as to why we're doing it. You want to make sure you have a couple of 2 by 4s These are really nasty rotten ones. I'm going to throw them in the junk pile as soon as we're done here today. But you want to put them at about a 45 degree angle because this is a 3 wheeled stand. If you have a four-wheeled stand, you probably want to be more in line with this, but right at about a 45, if this were a square, 45 from that wheel, it's still touching the ground. <laughs> Neighbors are fighting next door, and you guys say I make too much noise. All right, and you take your trusty orange pole, and you saw me flip a Volkswagen pan over using this pole. But you put it down in here just like this, and you ever so delicately push the engine forward, until the front wheel is on the ground. Back wheel, front wheel on the ground. Now you've got this one up in the air. Now just like so, you put a little bit of pulling force. You should in and drop right down onto your two by fours. Now your engine's up on the stand. Now because your stand is on top of those two by fours, we can pull this pole out and we can put our wheel right back on. All right, and then carefully kick out your two by fours. And there's 
your engine up on a stand. Now that wasn't too bad, was it? <laughs> well, looks like it's gonna rain again. Every time I break out the camera and try to work on good old Eleanor, it starts to rain. So anyway, we're gonna have to start packing some stuff in pretty quick because it's starting to look pretty dark up there. And yes, there is a party going on next door and I told you that my neighbors make more noise than I do, which is why we don't have a problem over here. <laughs> So anyways, I hope that gives everybody a little insight as to how to put your Volkswagen engine on a stand. This is exactly the way that I've handled it. I've used all four different methods, but typically I'm working alone, so I usually wind up using one of the last two, depending upon how I feel that morning. <laughs> so if you liked this video and you thought it was kind of cool, you know, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Please click the subscribe button and ring that little dingle belly down there in the corner. That'll give you updates every time I upload a new video. And don't forget, I have other channels other than Duckman Cycles. I've also got VV the Duck VV. And I've got Skeeter the Duck. I've also got a brand new Facebook group page where you can go to. Type in Duckman Cycles in your Facebook search box and you'll come up with a group page. Add yourself to it and we're going to have a discussion about this particular video as well as anything else that anybody else has been sharing or any of my other videos you'll find there as well. So come on and join us. We're really happy to have you. Thanks again and thanks for watching. Yeah!